guys so let's jump right into this video this is the wig that i will be gluing onto my head over my locks so here are some of the products that i'll be using to glue on this wig and to style it i'll write down the, the name of the brands in the description box below So since I'm wearing a straight wig, I like to have small cornrows of my locks and then I just cover it with a wig cap. And then I like to just try on my wig and see if I have it placed in the right spot before I even start gluing it down. Once my hair is pulled back by my hair clips, I start placing the glue where my wig falls at, so where like the edge of my wig falls at, and then I, I use a comb to spread out the glue. And then I just pull the wig forward and start pressing down the front of the wig until I get to the other side and it's placed on there securely. along the edges also. with a scarf and I leave that scarf on for about 15 minutes. I like to utilize these 15 minutes by styling my hair. I go over my hair plenty of times with a hot comb. I like to get it as flat as possible since I'm wearing a straight wig and I have no locks. I don't want my hair to look too big or lumpy or anything like that so I press over it a number of times with the, with the hot comb. I definitely get all the flyaway hairs down with this flyaway balm. No strands, no sticking up strands. I love it. session is the flat iron session. And now that the wig is securely on our heads, we must now focus on the baby hairs. And my baby hairs are previously cut from all the times I worn this wig. So I just try to find it. If you find any pieces that need to be glued down, you know, just glue it down again. It should stick this time. Make sure it's real foamy, shake it up, and spray it along the edges and use my toothbrush. You can use the edge brush. I just use what I have and just create your little swoop.
just tie down my edges and leave it up there for like 15 minutes. Now I go back over my hair with the hot comb all over just to make sure it's flat as it possibly can be since of course you know that I have locks underneath and I don't want my hair to look lumpy. Thank you.